Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I'm making this cute little box that holds this and this. This is a lovely wee biscuit. Uh, it's like a wee shortbread biscuit with smarties on them. You get a whole pack of them for, mm, I'm not sure if it was pound, pound fifty or something in a home bargains or B&M, one or the other. You get eight individually wrapped biscuits in it. So they're great if uh, you want to give wee biscuity gifts because they're individually wrapped. You're not touching anything. And the Cadbury's Whisper is going into the back box. And you can see it is two box, boxes joined together. Both have separate openings. They both open at the top. Um, you can see the biscuit in there. And the same on the other side for the Cadbury's drink. So I thought it was a cute wee way and it's another wee present for me to give for our wee Hanukkah get together. So I have added the names again this time using the wee jump ring and the sentiment and sentiment is from trimming the tree and of course I've used the alpha best which comes with the wee punch if you bad as a bundle. So that's what we're going with. The colours that we're going with uh, is Orchid Oasis. I'm using the they're new in colours and I'm using the matching DSP, the wee six by six DSP and the background is just plain white. So let's get started. Um, the stars, sorry, are not stamping up. They're just a wee old, old punch that I've had for years. I'm not even sure of the brand. I think my sister bought me these years ago. So that's what I've used. But there is a star set. Or you can stamp the same star and just cut around leaving a wee white border. Or if you have the matching dice so that set, I think it comes with a, a star die, which I should have got, of course. Right, let's get started. So what do you need for making those wee boxes? For the large box you need a piece of card that measures 8 inches by 5 inches and you need two strips of the DSP measuring 1.5 by 5 and 3 quarters. Uh, you could use either side really but I'm sticking to the wee sort of snowy dots. For the smaller box you need um, a piece that measures 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters and one piece of your DSP which measures one and a half inches by two and three quarters. So you just need to get your scoreboard out and we'll score these. And get everything ready to go. So we're going to score the long side first and we'll go at half an inch, one inch, four inches, and four and a half. And just turn it round and we'll do the other side, half an inch, one inch, two and three quarters, and three and a quarter. And that's that one. And we'll score the big one where we're here. So we'll go in long side again and go half an inch. Make sure that's down right. Half an inch. One inch. Lay over to seven inches and seven and a half. And then just turn it round and go half an inch again. Our box is half an inch deep, so that'll keep you right. Two and a quarter, two and three quarters, and four and a half. And that's all our scoring. So we want to take these now and score them all. Just give them a really good score of all, all the score lines. So I have all the scoring, uh, all the folds done, burnishing done, and I've marked axes where you need to cut off. Lock that nice very sunny day here today. Um, so these are the bits that we're taking away and this will form our box. So I'll start with you and this is going to be the top of the box, it's going to be the bottom. So we still need our wee closures. So we're going to cut that X off. We're going to cut all the X's off first and then we'll do the extra bit of cutting. Um, you can see all these are coming off. So just cut right down to that score line. And then 
cut straight up and take this wee one off. So you're left with that and that. Don't worry, they're cricket. Um, that light is bad, isn't it? Pull this blind over another wee bit. We'll see if it helps. Um, so don't worry that I've cut them cricket. I'm going to trim them again anyway. So do the same at the bottom. Cut off the axis. And that way you're not trying to do too much cutting that wants to confuse your brain. So you want that one left. So we'll cut down here and then cut right over. And that's what you're left with there. We're going to do the same here. Cut in. Cut all those away. Cut in. And that way one. Do the same again this side. You can see that in order for us to use these wee flaps here at the bottom, here and here, we need to cut into them. So you have a choice either to cut in this way or this way, depending on what way you want your um, things. I want to be able to fold this down, so I'm going to cut here. And at this stage, you can give those a wee trim. You don't even need them to be as long as they are, so you can trim that too. So again, cut down to that mark and give them a wee trim. So you want to continue and do the same at this side. So straight in, trim it off. And just trim off the length. So that is your wee faux box. It's only half a box, so to speak, um, which you'll see in a minute with all this rubbish. Now the same needs to be done over here. Just follow the same. Just cut down. That needs a trim there. It's not very straight. These are the things you want to get straight at this stage so that your box closes nicely. So just take a bit of time and check all your bits and pieces. So for this one, this is all going to fold up like so. And again, we want to cut into those so they fold down. So it's just the exact same as you did for the other box. Straight in there. Trim them off. And shorten them. They don't need to be just as long. So continue that on, on all of those sections. So you should be left with two pieces like this. Now we need to decorate them before we put them together. So if you turn them over, decide which one's your top and your bottom. And the star sort of faces, um, you know, point up and then the, the other four points. So you want to keep that going like that. So we're just going to start at the top. And then you'll know that's the way your um, stars are facing. So I recommend doing one at this side. I can't see this very well, unfortunately, so if I make a mistake, forgive me. I'm going one at either side, and then it'll, it'll give me a rough guide as to where the middle is. And then we're going to do some down here. So just decide yourself how many you want to do. Maybe start at the bottom, one at the top, and then go to your middle. And then just decide maybe one more. Depends on how many you want. 
I just said one, two, three, four, five on that one. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. So that's all we'll do. I think it's enough. You don't need to go mad. And on your own light here, unfortunately. And I'm getting kind of grubby. When you're doing multiple stamping of the same stamp, just it does you good to map it up now and again. So repeat that down this side. This will be folded in and glued to this so you will see this side so you want to do position your stars the same and then do the same three at the bottom and we'll go over to this one and it has four down the side here and three at the top so do it again I'm shaped now um, <laughs> which way is it my goodness, I think it's this way. Right, we're going to do one here. No, it wasn't that way. Sure, it wasn't. It's better looking. Two. And then in the middle. And repeat that at the bottom. And then down the sides. Again, just do one at the top. I don't think that star's looking right yet. One at the bottom and then two in between. You could do one in between if you wanted. But I'm going to do it the same as I did the other one. So just do the same uh, down this side and along the bottom of both your pieces. Right, when you have your ink out, um, I'm going to stamp the sentiment so that we can get the ink out of the way. This ink is so juicy, honestly. It it's not great at going in. That's very messy looking, isn't it? It suits better. So I want to punch that out with my punches. I'm using one and a half for this one. Just about let you get it all. And then with your bigger punch, cut out the matching card. This punch really needs a sharpen because it's a bit rough on the edges for me, which I don't like. So I'm smoothing that in. So that will be the aim of the row. We'll just bunch them up now when we have, have them here and that'll be it all prepared for us. So I'm using bigger ones here for speed. So get that settled onto there. And I decorated that using um, a chalk pen, the Stampin' Up chalk marker. Oops, um, I'm leaving that for a wee star hidden. So I'm just going around just to add wee dots because I thought it was a bit plain because I'm not stamping any images or anything. I didn't want it looking too bad. And I'm leaving that one for the star. So we can put that to one side now. Anything else? We need to stamp our wee, um, uh, what do you call these shapes? Banners, best label. Punch these wee shapes here. So I've chosen a plain one with a wee, kind of wee pattern down it, which is not a bad wee thing. So I need four of these this time. So one. Two, three, oops, four. See my heavy handedness, I'm desperate. So, the only other thing we have to do is stamp um, the letters into it, which I'm going to do off camera. There's no point in keeping you there for that. So, I shall be back. So, I have the letters typed out that are stamped out that an H C H A R put them in order in a wee block and set them on your foam padded foam and then you can punch through just go through them all get your wee jump ring and just thread them through 
Let's take them one at a time. And the shake of three the lip pretty well. And that's the name ready to go if you're wanting to put a name. Leave your um, jump ring, ring opened at the minute and just keep it ready to go and you finished your box. So that was an easy, quick way to do that. You could also loop each of them if you had room on a different project. So now we want to add our um, DSP. So I'm just going to give this a quick... So this is the long bit for here, and it measures one and a half by five and three quarters. So just take time and get it central. And the same size on the other bit in here. So it doesn't take up much of your um, papers, and it is perfect for six inch papers, which is good too. And you could make it for any time of the year. It doesn't have to be hot chocolate. You could put something else into it. That's that one. And then this wee piece is one and a half by two and three quarters. And it goes in there. And then we're going to put our box together. So, we need our glue. We'll start with a small box. And um, you want to give maybe your box ends another way score just to make sure that your closure is going to be nice and neat. I forgot to do that on my own and it keeps popping out on me. So, where the stars go, that must be the top. So that's the part we're not sticking closed, and they'll just fold in like so. And they'll stay inside that. This part, we want these to close in, and then this is going to close over the top of that. So that'll give us a nice firm closure, but a good opening. So at this stage, you want to add glue to the outside of those two ones. To start you off, and they will be closed into these. Give you a good firm box shape. On this stage, you could actually put your biscuit in and folding up the way in um, flaps. There's no point in making a whole box to hold that in safe. Sure, it's not. You don't need that extra card wasted. So just make sure you're um, you're nice and square where you've done your stamping, and then we're going to just put a wee bit of glue here and here. If you if you push that down, you'll get a wee idea. Maybe mark it with a, a pencil, so you know to keep your glue below that. So you don't want to glue your your sweets or your biscuits inside this. So just put that wee bit of glue. On those two pieces there where you marked. And just press that down and that should hold for a while until it ticks. And then this will tuck in. And that will be your wee closure, and so I'll pop it open way again. I need to hold it a wee bit longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just make sure you're not over pushing it in. It will take, believe me. I'm going to sell it like that till um, we move on to this one. So we want this to close over this. So put your glue on. Well, you put glue on the flap that has no extras. Keep the extras to here. Just fold it over. And shimmy it round. 
and it's all taken well and you're happy with it and you've got stamped on both sides so again this is going to be the top which will close in like so and now is the time to check your fittings if you want to trim anything if you think something's sticking out a wee bit too much my scissors are getting this blunt and i used to sharpen on them but it's not working close those in that looks a wee bit bulky too you can see it's much easier now to trim it before you close it. That looks okay. Double check this one. This is the one that's going to be closed completely. So it seems okay. So close this one up. That is your opening for the person to get the chocolate or whatever you have in there. This end you want um, glued. So we're going to put our Cabaret's chocolate in there. And again, push it in so we're not no extras hanging out. This is going to be closed and we're going to put a bit of glue here and here. And if you're really good, you could put a bit of glue on the outside of this, but try not to get it on your box. But I don't think it needs it, so it can be messy if you do it, you know. We're just going to hope that these bits hold it. So again, just make sure it's all nice and square. And that seems to be fine. So our opening is going to sit so you're opening it from the back. So therefore this one, make sure we've got it right, just is going to be sitting here right on top of it. So you want to put glue on this, this and this, but don't put any on this wee closure. We'll bring it right to the edges if you can, but not really thick. Just so that it's going to catch. Because it has a bit of work to do. And then you want to get this right down. Lined up nicely before you do anything else. Set it up. Make sure I'm happy with it. And it needs a good press, like it really does, because you want it to, to be there. So, it is well stuck together, and I'm happy enough with that. So, I'm going to take a bit of <coughs> crinkled ribbon. I'm just handing a knot. I'm not, um, I'm nearly out of it, so that's why I'm not making a bow. Simple as that. So, just have a double knot, if you can. Use a sticky dot maybe to hold that while you're working. I'm just going for it as usual. So we'll trim that off. So now we want to add our wee um, jump ring covered in glue. I'm just going to loop it around underneath that knot. Still opened, so it should be easy enough done. And then, if you want your ribbon on the outside of that, make sure and lift it. But I think I'm going to keep it where it is. I don't think it makes really that much, much odds. So just squeeze those back together again, and that should hold nicely. And now we want to decorate with our stars. We'll stick this in place. I'm just sticking it on flat. And we'll put it about central just to give us room for our star. I've punched these stars out and added a wee tiny uh, dimensional to them. And we'll just set that there. And well, at the top, it's a very starry project, isn't it? But as I say, you could decorate this with a wee penguin or Santa or whatever else stamps you have. This one down here, and this one here, and just for a wee added bit of sparkle, colour it in with your Wink of Stella. 
just a way quick sketch and it gives it a nice wee like silvery sheen. So that's another personalized project done. I think I've four done now. So another four to go. Maybe a five done. I'm not sure. I'll be sure and check back on the others. Uh, there might be something there of interest to you. So I'm pretty happy with those. It's a wee bit different and it's a double present because you're getting two for the price of one there really, which is good fun. So thanks for watching. Now I'll have everything that I use listed down below and a link to my blog where you'll see the measurements and stuff if you need to get them sorted again. Thanks for watching anyway. I'm sure and click subscribe. I would love some more subscribers getting me up to the thousand mark hopefully. Catch us all again soon. Bye.